Hello everybody, my name is Benji Sower, and welcome to episode 1 of the Sunday Strip. Now this may not be what you're thinking. Uh, on today's episode, I'm going to be stripping down this Arasaka Type 99. Now basically what this what this series is going to be, is every Sunday, I grab one of my rifles. I have uh, seven to choose from. So I'm going to grab one of my rifles, and I'm going to try to show you how, to, how they strip down. And some of them I'm going to show you how they work. If I can do it easily, and uh, I know enough about the rifle to really make it worthwhile. Now this is the the Japanese uh, Arasaka. This particular one was made probably in '42, maybe '43. It's a Type 99, which means chambered in 7.7 .7 by 58 uh, Japanese, which is a very hard caliber to find. It has a when I learned by uh, looking for it, and the differences between this one and the normal, there's no monopod. A lot of the Type 99s had a, a monopod attached to it that would kind of fold up. You said fold it up that way, I think. Mine doesn't have it, and there's no bayonet, but there's a bayonet mount right here. And uh, this cleaning rod, I really can't seem to figure out any use for it. Like, it doesn't actually come out. I, don't, I can't get it to come out. It turns, but it doesn't slide out. I don't know if it's because it's broken or if it just never was intended to be used. Uh, right here we have the flip up sights. Maybe you can see them, hopefully. Uh, you can slide them up. They go up to from 100 up to 1500 meters. So you can see that's a pretty good distance of a shot. And they slide up and down. And the, there used to be wings here on the end of them, coming out of each end, that you would line up aircraft with, but those were since lost in the uh, storage. And see, you can see back here at the bolt end, the gnarling, or knolling, I guess it would be called. Uh, that's actually how you use a safety. You push in and turn it to the right, and now the safety's on, and you cannot move the bolt. And you can pull the trigger and nothing's going to happen, so that's a safety. In order to turn it off, you just push it in and let go and it pops off. And now I can move the bolt and pull the trigger. So, uh, bolt action is just a standard 90 degree Mauser turn. Uh, there's a bolt hold open on this one. When you're, Now, bolt hold open is just when your last shot is done. The bolt can't go forward, and since there is no ammo in here does it automatically. So I just have to press the little top of the magazine feed plate and then close it and it's good to go. So to strip this thing, get the camera a little bit. To strip it there's a lever right back here. I don't know if you can see this is kind of tough to do a camera work like this. Uh, there's a lever right here, you pull out like that, and you pull the bolt out at the same time and see if I can do it like this. Lever out. Episode one, what can you say? It's gonna be rough and dirty. Uh, so you gotta pull it out, and the bolt slides right out. Like that. And here's the rifle. Let's see, I'll grab this, you can see right there. Uh, this is actually the thing that, yeah, it's not going to work if I do that. This right here is the thing that holds the bolt open. That's actually the thing that locks the bolt from coming back all the way. A little lever, I guess you could call it. Now, if you look down the muzzle, down the bore, you bang it up in this guy. Oops, go that way. I don't know if you can see that down there. Maybe not. I don't. That's what's down there. That's a really tough gun to hold with one hand, I'll tell you. It's unevenly balanced in the weight. There's a lot of weight back here, but there's also a lot of weight up in the front because it's a pretty long rifle. All right. So I'm going to put this over here. And I'm going to show you the bolt. Now here's the bolt. It's pretty much based on the Mauser design. They did some things to tweak it, make it a lot more rugged. What those things are, I don't really know off the top of my head. 
I'm gonna put the camera down and show you how to take this apart. So there's the camera. Right. Take the bolt like this, and you push the safety in, turn it all the way to the right, and it pops apart like that. There's your uh, right there is the cocking piece. I guess you'd call it the cocking piece, maybe the, the safety or the whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna take this apart. There's the firing pin. And there's the actual bolt itself. And the firing pin has its internal spring. It pops out right there. Now when you're cleaning it, uh, this, this, and the pin part up here are probably the most important parts to clean other than the, the breech and the barrel. And if you want to put this back together, put that in like that. And let's put the camera down because I probably need two hands. Put that down like that. My camera stay forward, tilt forward like that. Uh, it's probably gonna fall forwards. Maybe not. Maybe. All right. Let's see if this works. Right. Put that in. The only one way to put it in is that it works. Uh, okay. Find that way. There we go. Put that in like that. So put it like that. Yep, so it right in. Like that. I take the packing piece, push that in as far as it'll go, and turn it to the left. Now it's back together again. Yep. Alright, very simple bolt to take apart. Nothing complicated really to it at all. And the extractor is actually this big thing right here along the side. They call it a claw extractor. So if you look, I don't know if you can see it right there. All that contact on the rim of the round just grabs it and tosses it out. All right. So let's put the camera back over here. And I'll put the rifle together again. Again, the first episode is going to be a little rough with camera work. Now to put, to put it back together again. You're gonna have to pull the lever, the lever, up this lever out again, and that pulls open that little uh, bolt lock. You push it in. You also have to depress the trigger. I'm gonna let that. Maybe not. Hit in. Oh, the bolt hold open. Duh. All right. There you go. It's assembled and rock by it just to make sure it all works. Alright. Yeah, there it is. Type 99 Arasaka. Field strip and put back together. Until next time. Happy fragging.